Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 8th video of Windows Server 2012 tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure WSUS role on Windows Server 2012. So first let's check out what is uh, my environment. So here is my environment. I have 4 virtual machines. The first one is Win2K12R2DC01 which is my active directory domain controller if you want to check. Here is my Win2K12R2DC01. I have installed Active Directory DSCP DNS role on this servers. And my second server is Win2K12SRV01. And this is a basically my fresh, uh, fresh server where I have installed operating system and configured the uh, 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 configure the network uh, network things like IP address and these things and I have just joined this machine in domain so and next machine is my uh, win uh, win 7 CL01 which is my Windows 7 client machine which is joined to my active directory domain if you want to verify and the, the fourth one is same Windows 8 machine which is joined to my domain if I want to check out here it is here Windows 7 machine join to my domain and Windows 8 machine as well as here it is Victor InfoSoul and this machine also joined to my domain and if you want to check the uh, uh, like uh, uh, location for the these object the uh, all three compute uh, all two computers and the server you can open the Active Directory users and computer. I have a one act, uh, OU in my Active Directory environment called India, and I have Workstation OU, which contains the both uh, both client ma client machine and the servers but contain my WSO server. So this is all about my environment, which I am going to <coughs> use in installing and configuring WSO role. So move next and step by step installing WSS role on Windows 2012 so the first thing install Windows Server update service role from server manager so I'm going to open my I'm going to uh, click on manage add role and features and maximize it click next click next and here is my server Win2K12 R2 SRV01 click next and I have to select here Windows Server Update Service it will automatically give you pop-up to install IS role and this is required for WSUS so add add features and click next and it will give you the features selection page mm, no need to select anything click next and uh, on the WSUS role click next and here it is showing you the uh, WID database and WSUS services so I have to install both things click next and uh, this is the store uh, this is the path for storing update from which is downloading from Microsoft or, uh, or another WSUS server so I'm going to uh, store in my D drive here is some pre-requires if you have a different formatted as your at least 6 GB free disk these are the requirement I am going to create one uh, folder called WSUS in my D drive I am going to copy this path and just paste it here and click next click next and leave default for IS server next and click on install so it will take few minutes to get the installation complete for uh, the WSUS so just wait here you can see installation is started on our server so it will take few minutes to get the installation done in mean in meanwhile we can <coughs> create and configure group policy for WSUS so let's log into our domain controller here is my domain controller I am going to click on tools and group policy management <coughs> so I am going to use this uh, this WSUS server for my India site so 
on my domain controller expand the domain controller and I want this uh, this WSO server to update my all clients and machines which is in, in India OU so I'm going to click on here and create a GPO and this domain and link here so perfect WSO name it click OK and right button click it and We need to edit it. Just wait for fees again. So here it is. Click on edit. <coughs> so under the com computer configuration, go to policies. Go to policies. Administrative templates. Windows component and go to <coughs> Windows update so here it is and first thing we need to select always automatically <coughs> automatic update uh, like so let's configure first thing configure automatic update and enable it and just select auto download and notify to install we have a four option here basically allow local admin to choose setting or uh, auto download and schedule the installation and auto download and notify for installation notify to download and install so uh, I'm going to uh, select automatic download and schedule a schedule or auto download and notify to install so I'm going to use auto download and notify to install and schedule install is every day and I'm going to select the working hours like it cannot be done if the machine is uh, down so I'm going to select like 1 a.m. and apply it and the second thing we have to select the like a specify intranet Microsoft update service location so I'm going to enable it and I'm going to specify my server name here so which is Win two K twelve R two R two S R V zero one. So this is my uh double source server. So I'm going to copy it and put it here. Same and click on apply. Okay, close it and we are done with group policy so you can see the installation is also complete so I'm going to do just one thing open a command prompt and type the GP update slash force and same I'm going to do on all, all the machines GP update slash force GP update slash force so you can see the policy has been uh, applied successfully for user and computer on all the machines we are good to go and we uh, the next thing we need to uh, do the post installation task for WSOS so I'm going to do it here you can see launch the post installation task and close this window and you can see IS and WSOS role is installed on this server So it will take some time to launch the post installation task. You can see configuring configuration required and doing the post installation configurations. 
so the post installation is almost completed and now we can go and launch the WSS <coughs> management console so click on tools and windows server update services so it's adding snap in here we are windows server update service configuration wizard on the server name click on next and I don't want to participate in any pro Microsoft program click next and syn synchronize from Microsoft update or synchronize from another WSS server so I'm going to synchronize from Microsoft update because it's my first uh, first WSS server in my environment if I have a multiple social, uh, WSS server in my environment then I can go and select the server name and next so I'm going to update this from Microsoft click on next and don't need to specify and proxy setting click next and just click on test connection so it will uh, it will test the connection between my WSO server and and the Microsoft connect uh, Microsoft update servers so because uh, might be there was some uh, some connection uh, blocked between my server and and the uh, Microsoft server due to due to like firewall and uh, anything which can be so it's checking the connectivity with our server and Microsoft so so after this the information to be downloaded including type of updates available product can be updated and all the available language so it will take few minutes depending on the speed of internet so I'm stopping the recording here well back once the it's com checking complete so here it is it is checked for updates and click next and now it's showing the language so I'm going to use only English click next and here, here is uh, you can specify the product which you want to update so in this I'm going to select my like if you want I can check uncheck the windows first go and check like sky for update if you want and under the uh, MS office I want MS office 2013 and 2016 only um, go to windows and windows 8 I required windows server 2012 r2 update and I required windows 8.8 8.1 update and not for RT I need windows 8.1 update and the windows 7 update and windows 10 update that's all so I think we have good to go on click on next so click on next and here it is critical definition update security update so if you want to check for secure uh, service pack click on service pack and click next and here is one thing synchronize manually or synchronize automatic so I'm going to select synchronize automatically like on 0 on 0 to 0 0 0 0 0 0 a.m. And click next. And big if you want to check for uh, synchronize right now, so you can take this and click next, and just finish. And so this will launch the like <coughs> WSS console. And here you can see, see under the synchronization, it is running the synchronization zero percent. And meanwhile, I'm going to select one thing add computer group for first my win 2012 r2 servers and win 7 server uh, machines and win 8.1 machine and the next one is win 10 so this is all and if you want to refresh it go to unassign any and if you refresh here you can see windows 7 machine is reported to a WSO server which is this machine so I'm going to change membership 
put it in Windows 7 and same I am going to run like gp update slash four comma force command so it will so it will uh, like update the group policy and report to the wc server gp update slash force and same I am going to do here gp update slash force so it will take some time to uh, report to WSO server here you can see windows uh, our server is reported and I'm going to change membership and put it here and now you can see this machine is reported and an old computer we have two machines reported one for windows server 2012 r2 and one for like windows 7 and just wait for a few minutes windows 8.1 machine was also reported to the server so check the synchronization status you can see pro in progress 10 percent is completed so it will take some time so the synchronization is 30 percent 37 percent complete if you go and check here you can see the status of WSS uh, uh, of server so you can see the synchronization is running you can stop is and last synchronization result is success and here's the connection details port number use server role user role and the server static unapproved update uh, 806 declined computer group for these all details and if you want to approve the uh, uh, you can see here uh, the number of updates and need uh, are waiting for approved so if you want to go and click on approve and here you can see the all list of uh, like up, uh, updates so which needs to be approved so like if you want if you see these update for windows 7 so go here and, and approve it and uh, take the uh, like group on which you want to approve so for windows 7 we can select the windows 7 and here is it is you can see the approved so now if you go to if you go to server you can see the approve update is 2 same if you want to approve more updates so the unapproved and select the all like you can select the all windows 7 arrange it by name and like here you can go and select windows 7 all windows 7 62 4 bit and 32 bit and approve and select the windows 7 group and install you can see is approving the updates for windows 7 group so close it and refresh it and now I'm going to approve the ch uh, approve the uh, like update for Windows 8. So select the Windows 8 computers and all Windows 8 and approve the Windows for Windows 8 group. Close it and approve for Windows Server 2012. You can approve it for two. So for Windows 8. This is the way how the uh, WSS server works and how we manage the WSS server. So you can see a
approve update 200 decline 0 computer 2 computer group 4 so you can see the downloading status and update uh, updating needed file count downloading and these details and if you go to like your WSS folder here it is you can check the properties of this folder it contain the updates currently it's size of uh, 59 MB so here is you can see package folder is service package is up free and here is the update so this is all about the uh, like <coughs> WSO server and finally thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this just mail me on given my mail id and thank you once again bye bye